It is day 10 now and investigators are still trying to get to the bottom of a devastating fire. Tonight, a key piece of video engulfing evidence showing the moment something very small sparked huge trouble. Within minutes, it turned into a carport conflagration. Nearly 60 cars torched, dozens of others damaged. The charring conclusion at the Villa Apartments near San Pedro and Gibson. But we are about to see the beginning of that big blaze. I heard fireworks coming from the complex behind us. But property manager Mary Thomas never expected that fireworks thrown from the balcony of a neighboring complex would be more than a loud popping nuisance. We started reporting the fireworks before the fire ever started. From bad to worse, this is the moment a firecracker becomes a flying ignition source. Look again, then smoldering for several minutes. I called back again to say it's gone up in flames. We need some help. That popping of fireworks was the prelude to something much worse. The sounds of popping tires, fire alarms, and pure panic. The fierce flames melted metal and raged like special effects in a movie. But what tore through this carport was real life. It's devastating for everybody. Um, people needed to get to work, needed to get to school. I had one lady that had an open heart surgery, needed to get to her doctors. A GoFundMe page has raised more than $4,000 because not everyone who lost their car carried full coverage. Some have no transportation, all because of problematic pyrotechnics that created an ugly display. We have never had any problems here, so this is kind of overwhelming. If you would like to help out with the Villa Apartments Fire Relief, we have a link to that GoFundMe page over on KRQE.com. And as soon as any arrests are made or charges filed, we certainly will pass that on to you.